We've come to Cardiff now to visit the fantastic lofts of A and A Deacon. Good afternoon Andrew. Good afternoon Keith and welcome to Wales. Thanks mate, I'm enjoying my trip. Good. What famous of pigeons do you keep? Um, basically we race the Janssen pigeons up to 300 miles and then we try the John Ardens for the long distance races. Yeah, where they originate from? Um, the John Ardens all originate from the Pond Rosa Stud in Weymouth and my Janssens originate from Ken Darlington and also Pond Rosa Stud. Yeah, how long have you been in the sport? Um, my dad's been in sport all his life and I've been doing them for about 22 years now. This is the Checkered Cock 92 Cock for us and he's just won the Taffy Bowen Sprint Trophy which is open to all of Wales and he's probably beaten over 500,000 pigeons this year to accomplish this achievement. Yeah, that's brilliant. What strain of pigeons is he Andrew? Um, the sire is a Ken Darlington Jansen and the mother is a Paul Smith for a hen, which I bought off Paul in 1989, and they've always been paired together, and they've always bred us good pigeons over the years. Yeah, what system was he raced on? Uh, this system is raced on was totally woodward. Yeah. Up to 300 miles. What did he have to do to win that trophy? His main positions were first open, Beeston, with over 7,000 pigeons in, and he was also 24th, 25th, 36th open. Brilliant open. pigeon, isn't he? with over 7,000 pigeons in each race. What system do you race your old birds on, Andrew? Um, we race 16 old pigeons on Woodward up to 300 miles and they don't go any further. And then after 300 miles we basically bring in the John Harden hens which have been trained quietly all through the year and try to peak them for the long distance races. Yeah, what's your favourite distances? Every distance. <laughs> oh, you like short and long? All distances, yes. Yeah, what federation do you fly in? Uh, we fly in the biggest federation in Europe, the Welsh North Road Federation. Yeah, so you're all North Road, are you? Yes. We race from Ludlow, which is 65 miles, right through to Thurso, which is nearly 500 miles. This is the scene inside Andrew's Woodward section. How many cocks do you race on Woodward, Andrew? Um, basically, we start the season with 20 Woodward cocks for racing up to 300 miles. Yeah, when do you pair them up? Usually in the second week in January according to the weather. How far did you race the Woodward Cox? Um, 300 miles. Have you ever sent them on the long distance? No, not in recent years, no. So you prefer the natural? Yes. I noticed the back end of Woodward Nest Boxes are painted blue. Andrew, what's the idea of that? Uh, yes, Keith. Um, we found over the years that the blue is a nice calm colour and it keeps the cocks nice and quiet during the day. Yeah, and the idea of the blocks is so that you stand and rest on them? Uh, yes, and the droppings fall through and they're not standing on them all day, and it makes it easier cleaning. Yeah, I like blue in the lofts. Yeah. Certainly, as you say, it's restful, and also it sets the pigeons off, doesn't it? Yes, and always, they always look well. What's one or two of your best positions you won, Andrew? Um, We've topped the Welsh North Road Federation several times and also the old Cardiff Fed. We've taken major positions in the Welsh Grand National Flying Club and the Welsh Combines. Incredible performances. Yes, we're very pleased. Your widowhood system, tell us a bit about your widowhood system. When do you pair the birds up? Uh, two weeks before we pair up, we consult the vet Frank Harper from Swansea and if everything's clear, we would like to pair up in the middle of January. Yeah. Do you show the hens before they go on a Friday night? Yes, we always show, always show the hens to the cocks on a Friday night for mm. two or three minutes. Yeah. How long do they get the hen for on a Saturday? Basically, when they come home, if it's been an easy race, approximately half an hour. Okay, do you break down? Um, we break down then Saturday night, all day Sunday, and we start building back up for the following week's race from mm. the Monday on. How about training with the cocks? After the first uh, initial training tosses, which are approximately... 15 miles away from the loft, we don't train at all. Yeah, so they go, they go out twice a day? They go uh, every every day, twice a day, and also uh, we're very punctual on time. Yeah. How do you cope with natural pigeons and widowed then? Um, basically, the natural hens are on open hole. I, can, I train them every day if possible. And when I come home from work, I just let them in, and then the widowed cocks go out. Yeah. Do you actually beef the corn up a bit as they go longer distance for the cocks? 
No, no, we basically feed the uh, Boss Molen range of feeds, which we find very good. And we also hopper feed our woodward cocks. Yeah, do you put anything in the water? Very little. This is a nice pigeon Andrew, what's this one? Yes, Keith, this is one of our main woodward cocks. He's now four years of age and he's won many, many prizes in the Welsh North Road Federation Open results. Yeah, what sort of distance did he like? He likes distances up to 250 miles. What fam is he? He's a Janssen. Yeah, beautiful pigeon. Wonderful I got this one, eh? Yes. His parents were both from bred from the Ponderosa stud in Weymouth. Yeah, quality fur and fur that pigeon. Very much so. This is your natural section then, Andrew. Yes, Keith, this is the natural section where we raise our hens. So you raise purely hens on natural? Yes, what we've found over the years that we, in order to get the best out of our hens, we always keep the cocks at home so that the hens always know that their cocks are here waiting for them. Yeah. And we find that they keep them very contented. And you keep your babies in with your natural pigeons? Yes, we do. Why is that in? Um, basically, we haven't got room for another young bird loft and we don't find it a problem. No. And also, we believe that the old birds will bring the young birds on. Yeah. When do you pair your natural pigeons up? Um, I like to stagger our parents up with the natural pairs. Uh, we start pairing up from March onwards, the middle of March. With, with the long distance in with mind? long distance races in mind, which are in, at the end of July. Yeah. How about feeding them? What do you feed? We feed them through all year through on Bosmol and Irish mix, which we find very good and it's very good quality corn. Yeah, what's your favourite condition for the long distance? For the long distance hens we find over the years basically sitting 12 days. For eggs? Yes. yes. Do, you f do you find that the hens are truer for the, net, for the long distance hen? Yes, especially when the uh, going gets a little bit tough. Yeah. They'll always come on. Have you tried any cocks on the long distance? No, we haven't. No, we keep our cocks to 300 miles. Keith, this is one of our best long distance hens. She was 17th national as a yearling from Creef in a very hard race and 4th centre section Welsh Grand National Flying Club. And then as a two year old from Thurzo, which is nearly 500 miles to us, she was 7th Welsh Grand National and 10th All Wales Combine. What no family is she, Andrew? She's a John Arden hen. Beautiful pigeon again. Yes, absolutely very superb. What's her favourite nest condition? Her favourite nest condition is sitting 12 days on basketing nights. I must say, Andrew, you've got a wonderful loft here. Yes, Keith. Um, it was self-built by myself and my father. It's approximately 35 foot long and it's very deep. Uh, it's about 18 foot deep. It has um, three sections. On the right, we keep the stockbirds with a very large aviary. And then in the middle, with open door trapping, are our woodward cocks. And then to the left is our natural pairs with our young birds in. Yeah, I must congratulate you, mate. It's a really, really credit to you. Thank you. Let's talk about young bird racing now, Andrew. How many babies you breed each season? Each season we try to breed between 50 and 60 young birds. Yeah, how far do they race? We race the hens right through to the nationals, which are 303 miles to us. And all our cocks, we basically race up to Beeston, which is 120 miles, and then we stop them. That's saving them for the Woodward system. Yes, we found that there's no stress put on the young birds, and they mature very nice, and they take the Woodward system very well as yearlings. How about training the babies? Babies are trained weather, if the weather's very good, every day if possible. How about feeding them? What do you feed them on? Um, they're fed on uh, Boss and Irish mix. Yeah, do you like young bird racing? Not particularly, no. Too much hard work. No, it's just an educational. Yes, purely. This is the scene inside the stock section, and I must say the pigeons look really well. There's plenty of room in here. Nice light and airy. How many pairs of stock birds do you keep, Andrew? Uh, basically, Keith, we try to keep it down to 12 stock pairs. But as you can see, there are more than 12 pigeons in the section, but some of these are old cocks that we use for the, the natural hens. Yeah. When do you pair your stock birds up? Uh, we pair our stock birds up in the middle of the January, same time as the woodward cocks, so that we can float eggs through. So basically you've got two families, the Jansons and the Jan Ardens. Do you ever try any other pigeons out? No, not at the moment, because we find that they, at the moment we're winning well with the pigeons that we have.
It's a nice pigeon. Andrew, what's this one? Yes, Keith, this is one of our main stock pigeons. He's an actual grandson of the Honda Rosa 05 pigeon, and he's bred many, many winners for us, including Welsh North Road Federation Open winners. And we also find that his children are starting to breed winners also. Beautiful pigeon. Jensen again. Yes. Did he ever race? No, he's never raced. He's always been in the stock loft. What do you look for when you're selecting stock birds in, Andrew? Firstly, we look at the bird lines. The family have to be winning for many, many years before we introduce them into our lofts. And then, basically, we try and find the best that we can. And I like a pigeon that sits nicely in the hand, medium-sized, with a lot of character about it. Yeah, do you like big pigeons or small pigeons? Basically, I like medium-sized pigeons with nice, soft, silky feathering. Yeah, well, what's your idea of the eye sign theory? Basically, I have no theory on eye sign. No? No, none whatsoever. All right, Andrew, thanks very much for letting me come and see you off today. They're a real credit to you.